Our goal with this video is to provide you instructions on how to use the Swiss LithoClass Select system. However, prior to use, all users should review and understand the Swiss LithoClass Select system DFU. The Swiss LithoClass Select system offers simultaneous ultrasonic and pneumatic lithotripsy. The pneumatic lithotriptor is designed to effectively fragment larger stones while the powerful ultrasonic lithotriptor provides fragmentation and suction of smaller calculi. The simultaneous use of both technologies, operated through a single foot pedal, is designed to significantly reduce stone removal time. It is an effective treatment option for fragmentation of urinary tract calculi in the kidney, ureter, and bladder. Your Swiss Litho Class Select system consists of the following components. A select console, a hospital grade power supply cord, one foot pedal unit that controls both the pneumatic and ultrasonic lithotripsy energy, a Vario ultrasonic handpiece, an angled suction connector, a straight suction connector, a five millimeter wrench, an eight millimeter wrench, a pneumatic handpiece and tubing, a compressed air supply tube, directions for use, and a holder for the stone catcher. The pneumatic probes, ultrasound probes, and the stone catcher are packaged sterile and sold separately. The pneumatic probes for this unit are disposable for one-time use only. They are available in an 0.8 millimeter, 1 millimeter, 1.6 millimeter, 2 millimeter, and a 0.089 millimeter size. All pneumatic probes may be used solely for pneumatic lithotripsy. The 0.089 millimeter size is designed for use during flexible ureteroscopy. The one millimeter probe is the only size used in combination with the ultrasonic probes. It is available in two lengths, 497 millimeter and 570 millimeter for different length scopes. The ultrasonic probes come in a 3.3 millimeter and 3.8 millimeter outer diameter and in two lengths, 330 millimeter and 403 millimeter. The 3.8 millimeter is the most commonly used ultrasonic probe. However, some nephroscopes with smaller working channels may require the 3.3 millimeter probe. The 403 millimeter ultrasound probe is required when using a longer nephroscope. The stone catcher is sold in boxes of five and is designed to capture stone fragments for analysis. Its high pressure tubing is designed to work in conjunction with the console to provide optimal suction control. The blue roller clamp enables OR staff to provide additional suction control as needed during the procedure. In the OR, the following components are recommended for a case. A small table, the Swiss Litho Class Select console, and all components. A stone catcher, a pneumatic probe, an ultrasound probe, an extension cord, a suction canister, and compressed air. Prior to the start of the case, you must have the pneumatic handpiece, the Vario handpiece, the angled and straight suction adapters, the five millimeter and eight millimeter wrenches sterilized. Refer to the DFU for specific sterilization parameters or contact your local Boston Scientific Urology representative. First, place the control unit on a small OR table with wheels. This allows for the unit to be moved adjacent to the patient during the procedure. Next, Connect the power supply cord. Then connect the air supply tube to the back of the unit. You will hear a click when the tube is connected correctly. Make sure you have enough length in the air supply hose and power cord to reach the supply sources. If the hospital does not have the appropriate adapter for the connection, the hospital's anesthesia department or biomed department should have one available for use. For any issues or problems associated with air connectors, Contact your local Boston Scientific Urology Sales Representative. 
The air supply tube must be connected to the supply source. This source could be a wall connection, a tank, or a ceiling tower. The source must have a regulator on it and should be set between 51 to 94 PSI. Finally, connect the foot pedal to the back of the control unit. The foot pedal needs to be secured to the back of the unit by first inserting and then tightening clockwise. Finally, place a bag on the foot pedal to reduce wear and contamination. The unit is now set up, except for the sterile components. To save time and confusion during the case, build sterile pieces on the sterile table prior to the case. The sterile pieces consist of the Vario ultrasonic handpiece and components, the pneumatic handpiece, and appropriate probes. The Swiss Litho Class Select system has three different options for handpiece configurations pneumatic only, ultrasound only, or combination use. First, let's start with pneumatic only. Simply connect a single-use pneumatic probe to the pneumatic handpiece. Insert the probe with a one-quarter turn to the right until the cap snaps in. Note, a small gap between the probe interface and the handpiece is normal. Finally, attach pneumatic handpiece connector to the right side of the console faceplate. You are ready to go. To set up ultrasound only, you will need to connect the straight suction connector to the threaded end of the Vario ultrasound handpiece. Then attach a sterile ultrasound probe to the Vario handpiece and tighten with the 5mm wrench. This is necessary to ensure proper transmission of the ultrasonic sound waves. If the probe is not tightened with the wrench, it will not work appropriately. If, during the procedure, the ultrasound is not working properly, pause and check to see if the probe is tight on the Vario handpiece. Next, attach stone catcher tubing to the suction port. The stone catcher comes with a roller clamp loaded on the tubing that can be used to control the suction flow. Check to make sure the roller clamp is open prior to the case beginning. Finally, attach the Vario handpiece connector to the left side of the console faceplate. You are now ready to use the Vario handpiece. The most common handpiece setup is the combination ultrasound and pneumatic configuration. The benefit of the Select is to use both ultrasonic and pneumatic energy simultaneously. The first step is to attach an ultrasound probe onto the tapered end of the Vario ultrasound handpiece. You must tighten the probe onto the handpiece with a 5 mm wrench. This is necessary to ensure proper transmission of the ultrasonic sound waves. If the probe is not tightened with the wrench, it will not work appropriately. If, during the procedure, the ultrasound is not working properly, pause and check to see if the probe is tight. Next, the angled suction connector should be attached to the threaded end of the Vario handpiece. The single-use 1mm pneumatic probe is then back-loaded through the angled suction connector and hand-tightened. Please see page 16 of the Swiss Lithoclass Select System Vario Handpiece DFU for the coding system for ultrasound and pneumatic probe sets. Once in place, the pneumatic handpiece is then connected to the pneumatic probe interface. This is done by aligning the pneumatic handpiece with the probe and turning one quarter turn to the right until you hear a click. Finally, attach the stone catcher tubing to the angled suction port. The stone catcher comes with a roller clamp loaded on the tubing that will be used to control the suction flow. Check to make sure the roller clamp is open prior to the case beginning. Make sure that the pneumatic and ultrasonic probe tips are even. This will ensure efficient fragmentation during the procedure. This is accomplished by turning the white adjustment dial on the pneumatic probe interface until the tips are even. Clockwise rotation will extend the pneumatic probe relative to the ultrasonic probe. If the pneumatic probe is extended too far, 
the ultrasonic probe will not be able to touch the stone, resulting in inefficient fragmentation. Finally, attach the pneumatic handpiece connector to the right side and the Vario to the left side of the console faceplate. Once complete, the combined ultrasound and pneumatic configuration is ready to go. To begin the case, turn the console power on. This switch is located on the back of the unit. Power is on when you see two orange lights illuminated on the front panel of the control unit. The left side of the unit controls the ultrasonic system, and the right side controls the pneumatic system. Once again, the systems can be operated independently or in combination. To turn on the ultrasonic system, depress the button next to the orange light of the left module, and the display will be illuminated. The power is controlled by the dial in increments of 10% to 100%. For each lithotripsy method, whether used individually or in combination, it is recommended to start fragmentation at medium power settings of 50% to 60%. The duty percent can be adjusted with the up and down buttons to the right of the display. The ultrasound probe handpiece error detection is only working with the duty cycle set to 100%, which is the default setting. Working with a duty cycle of less than 100% can be helpful to reduce warm-up of the ultrasound handpiece. The timer registers the time of use in seconds. The ultrasonic settings are ready to run. To turn on the pneumatic system, press the button next to the orange light on the right module and the display will be illuminated. Next, press the select button until a small dot is illuminated next to the frequency number. This allows you to toggle back and forth between the ultrasonic and pneumatic control displays. The right rotary knob is used to adjust the pneumatic power in percent from 0 to 100 percent in 10 percent increments. If this reading is zero and will not change, the air supply source is not turned on. This source should be set between 51 to 94 percent PSI. Next, you need to adjust the settings of the pneumatic lithotripter. Set the lithotripsy mode button to multiple pulses, designated by the illumination of the green light. Frequency is adjustable on a 1 Hz to 12 Hz range. The frequency of the pulses should not be higher than 7 Hz at the beginning, whether used alone or in combination with pneumatic lithotripsy, and can be increased or decreased gradually. To maximize ultrasound probe tip contact with the stone, set the frequency to 2 to 3 Hz. The counter display will provide the total number of pneumatic pulses per case. All settings are ready to go for the case. The power and duty cycle frequency settings of both lithotripsy modules are memorized and will be maintained for the next case until changed by the user. There are two final preparations that need to take place for running the case. The first is to discuss the foot pedal, and the other, the stone catcher. The foot pedal has two pedals that allow the doctor to run the select with their foot. The pedal on the left controls the ultrasonic lithotripter and suction. When you depress the pedal halfway, the suction is activated. Depressing the pedal completely activates the ultrasound and suction. The suction will always be activated when the ultrasound is running. The pedal on the right controls pneumatic pulses. The pneumatic pedal only has one option. Press it completely down and it activates the pneumatic lithotripter. If you press both pedals, the ultrasound with suction and pneumatic lithotripters will be activated simultaneously. The stone catcher is designed to catch fragments for analysis during suctioning. The stone catcher is a disposable one-time use item. The Swiss Litho Class Select system comes with a stone catcher holder. Place the holder on the control unit. The stone catcher comes with lower pressure compatible sterile tubing attached to it for placement onto the suction port of the Vario handpiece. The other end of the tubing is passed off with the stone catcher. 
The stone catcher is inserted into the stone catcher holder. The tubing is then inserted into the pinch valve on the side of the console. Once in place, standard suction tubing is connected to the stone catcher tubing and tied into the hospital suction canister or Neptune. Once the case is completed, replace the existing cap with the yellow cap that comes with the stone catcher and send the stone samples to pathology. Before storing the unit, review the cleaning and disinfecting and sterilization sections of the DFU. Wear gloves and follow all cleaning and disinfecting instructions. Be sure to clean all parts of the unit and handpieces and re-sterilize according to the DFU. Refer to the DFU for specific sterilization parameters or contact your local Boston Scientific Urology representative. When sterilizing the pneumatic handpiece, make sure the air tubing is connected to the handpiece. Also, make sure when sterilizing both the pneumatic and ultrasound handpieces that the sterilization cap is placed on the end of the tubing that connects to the control unit. This ensures that no moisture gets into the panel connection. If you have any questions about using your Swiss Lithoclass Select system, contact your local Boston Scientific Sales Representative or Boston Scientific Customer Service at 1-888-272-1001.